Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. I want to talk about leaching of cobalt binder in tungsten carbide. First, ignore the shirt. I'm going on a picnic with my grandkids at their grade school today, and I dressed for my most important occasion. So anyway, leaching cobalt from tungsten carbide. All right, I did these, I don't know, for a speech years ago. Golf balls, BBs. This is relatively, this is about the size of the grains and tungsten carbide we used to sell for general purpose, for sawmills as kind of a C2 or whatever. These are the grains we're selling now. And I think this is important for leaching for a couple reasons. First, there's a lot less space between the grains. Now, leaching, leaching is a matter of, of now what I'm talking about, and it's highly complex and this is much too simple, but it's a matter of chemical attack. So if you have bigger spaces like this, then here there's much more room for chemical attack. Also, the mechanism of this, and once again, this is a simplified version, but the acids attack the cobalt and create a salt. That salt protects the underlying material. Unless you're cutting something fibrous. Now, in my world, sawing, particularly sawing wood and, and sawmills a lot, green western red cedar, that's western red cedar just from the woods, it's still green, hasn't been dried or anything else, is probably the worst for leaching cobalt. What you can see is that if you get a big space like this, you'll have some attack, you'll form a salt layer that protects the underlying stuff, then if you're cutting a fibrous material, it can wear away the salt. And the salt is typically um, very lightly attached. You're also talking about wood fibers, but you're talking about an awful lot of wood fibers moving awful fast. So there's a couple of things I think affect. I also, I also wonder sometimes, you can see in the BBs, and I just poured these in. They're not under pressure. But I poured them in, and you can see where they don't pack perfectly. And I think, to a lesser extent, because of the, the difference in formulation and the packing and whatnot, but I think you see the same thing with the larger grains, but magnified by the difference in size. So besides in areas such as this, where the BBs do pack, well, you also get uh, over here and over here where you're likely to have bigger spaces. I think you see the same thing in the larger grains, but you have larger spaces because relatively the grains are larger. So that's it. This is, these are just some thoughts. This is now, ah, this is now the grain we sell and the grade we sell, I'm sorry, as our super C or whatever, this is what we used to sell. This one performs much, much better. That's it. Those are just some thoughts. I would appreciate any comments anyone cared to make. Thank you. Bye.